What's going on guys? Welcome back to G-Body Garage. Today I'm going to show you something we did yesterday with the car. Unfortunately, I couldn't film it. We were supposed to be going to the drag strip yesterday. Uh, some stuff happened down in Louisville. And unfortunately, the drag strip shut down for the day. So we rushed home, started trying to get the car ready, had the tuner here. We were going to go take it down there just to kind of see what it would do. It hasn't been at the strip yet. And we were going to tune on a little more couldn't happen so we end up doing something else to the car and I'm about to tear half the garage apart to reorganize it some and it's finally gonna get a new furnace that actually works been fighting with the furnace for a couple years uh, had somebody finally give me one that actually functions correctly and we don't have to light with the blowtorch um, and I'll show you why we're gonna rip the old one out and just not try to fix it uh, let me you look here here's the furnace it is just old the person that put it in had no idea what he was doing he rigged it in before i even bought the house it worked for a couple years but it constantly had issues the wiring was bad it really wasn't safe and it's kind of big and bulky and actually right in the way if i had it gone i'd actually have more room on this side and be able to organize it the way i wanted so with that the a friend of mine he is an hvac guy one of his clients decided in his rental home that he wanted a uh, new unit put in. So he brought me this downdraft unit here that I can hang on the wall and be able to save some room in the corner. So we're about to tear half the garage apart. There's gonna be stuff everywhere. So before I do that, before I lift the car and start putting stuff under it for storage for now, I want to show you what we did. And it's something I did to the B&M shifter that saved about $100. So I wanted to do the 4L80 sloppy trans brake on the 86. I don't really want to put a true trans brake in the car. Reason being, I don't want to spend that kind of money on the car because I'm not going to be taking it to the strip enough to justify the cost. At the same time, I know I need a another converter to actually do this correctly so the next thing with this car will be a converter but what we did is if you look online anywhere you look you can see the 4l80 sloppy trans brake there's wiring diagrams on how to do it it's pretty simple basically you're interrupting the signal inside the transmission with a relay five pin relay on my computer it was actually pin i think it was 57 it was a yellow and brown or yellow and black wire that we actually did it on and it did help the car launch a little harder but without having the correct converter it really killed it so but we also installed a button on this shifters and i'm going to show you what we did here like you most people know the b&m shifters you can order the button for the side plate it's right around 89 to 100 dollars, depending on where you buy it at we put it in for about two dollars or less so I'm gonna show you this here. If you look right here, which is a little hard to see because of the lighting in here, you can see the full trans brake button and it's drilled straight into the plate. It's pretty simple to do. And I'm gonna explain what we did. So if you get, if you go on Amazon, you can buy these momentary red switches for about, I don't know, I think it's 20 of them for $10. So it makes them about 50 cents a piece. So they are dirt cheap. But yet, if you go online, it's $89 to $100 to buy the one with the button in it. And I really didn't want to spend that on this car. So if you go take the panel off here, which I had already removed the pieces that kind of hold it. Now, I will have to get an Allen wrench to remove that. Give me a minute and I'll get an Allen wrench. So here it is guys. This is the just basic standard side plate that comes on most of these style B&M shifters. And if you look right here where we installed the button, 
it is just two wires soldered to the back of that switch that we just drilled the switch into and they ran down and there's a spot right in the back of these shifters that i'll show you in a minute that you run the wires down to now let me get worth some more light here and if you drill it right up through the top right in the middle of this m almost there's a spot right there for the wires and everything to run inside those shifters so you can run it down now what we did is we actually drilled it with a step bit to a 5 8 on the step bit and it fit perfectly in there so after that we soldered the wires to the back of it and let me take this panel off right here and i will show you where the wires are ran and we will you'll get a better idea how this actually functions and how you can save a ton of money by doing this yourself here it is guys see if you look in the back of your shifter there's a hole right here that runs all the way up through the side so you can actually run it into the side plate now you basically just solder those two wires on run them through those holes and then you run them down however you need to into your relay now like i said before if you get online you can see where the, the 4l80 sloppy trans brake is everywhere people do it some people don't like it some do you know what i'm gonna give it a shot it saves a ton of money for the whole valve body assembly on top of that this button only cost really about 50 cents if you do the math for the button if you got a step bit it's better because then all you do is have to drill it but instead of having to order this hundred dollar plate that has a button in it for a trans brake or nitrous or whatever you want to use it for you can do it yourself for roughly 50 cents now granted it does come in a 20 pack so you're going to spend 10 bucks but you'll have a whole bunch of extras help your buddies out give them one that's what happened with me my tuner actually had a bunch of these laying around where he did it on his truck and he gave me one technically two the first one i messed up i messed up the soldering second one worked so i got about a dollar in it i guess all together but as of right now that's what we just did yesterday we did some testing it definitely helps get the turbo spooled up a little bit more if i had a better converter it would definitely help more but this saves a ton of money instead of wasting that hundred dollars spend 30 minutes and do it yourself i think it took us maybe 45 minutes total to wire in the relay to run the wires and to drill the hole and put it all together so guys that's just a quick cheap thing that you can do that'll make the shifters better in my opinion and save you a ton of money if you have this style shifter more other shifters you can probably do it on too i haven't looked this shifter I, is the first one i've tried it on and it worked great so guys that's just a quick tip quick trick help save you some money if you can guys hit that like button hit subscribe help me out i appreciate it until next time we'll see you later